Hello everyone, Timer over here, and welcome back for some more Project Zomboid. Pick it up right where we left off, uh, 1840, and we're about to go to sleep. Last episode, we had made our way from ba -ba -ba -ba, the um, train yard that we started in over here to the in part, um, not not completely inside, but sort of more or less inside the um, military blockade that was set up on the outskirts of Louisville. So we're sort of still trying to make us make our way into Louisville proper, even though we started had a mod to start in Louisville. We started sort of on the outskirts. So we're just sort of hanging out in here. We did find ourselves a TV. We've boarded us up inside this little trailer. Uh, I'm going to actually pop in here. We did this one, this one, and this one. Can't remember if we did that one. I think we did. Um, we spawned over here. I'm just going to bolt that, but most likely we're not going to come back down here unless we find a car relatively nearby. Uh, because I would like to pick up that trailer that we found um, down near our start. But yeah, I think all we can do now is, is go to sleep. We don't have anything to read. 1900. I am going to set an alarm or at least check 650, 550, just to make sure we get up in time for the next, the next, um, the next show and yeah let's go ahead and sleep we missed a few days of it how long have we been alive i think there's been three days two days okay so yeah we've missed a good bit Ooh, our weight's going way up which is good because we are underweight so that is entirely fine let's go ahead and hit sleep and hopefully we don't uh, get attacked in the middle of the night and hopefully we don't wake up too early. Oh boy, thunderstorm. That is less than ideal, actually. All right, let's go. I'm actually going to... Let's see, can I put you down? Let's put you down right there. Turn on. Darn it. All right. Well, <laughs> I picked that up hoping it would have the emergency broadcast system, but apparently not. And turn you on. I do hear. I do hear some uh, some zombies somewhere. Do you have the emergency broadcast system? You do. All right, let's turn that on while we're thinking of it. Turn it low volume. All right. There we go. Cookware. Put it on speed three. Get our cooking points. Yeah, major storm outside. I don't know if we're going out today. All right. Let's uh, let's pop out here. Let's turn you off. We are outdoorsmen, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I'm going to pick up this army radio. Now, we could. Now actually, actually, that's a weight of a three. We could locate this on our own. 106.8. So we could type that in and tune in that way, which might not be a bad idea. But let's get this ham radio for now and plop it down right there. I'm just going to put the U.S. walkie-talkie down right there. All right. That should hopefully 
be okay. Let's go get something to eat. Um, do I want to get the steak or just... We have a bowl. What can we make with the bowl? Doesn't look like anything. Alright, tell you what. Just eat this steak. Now there is a um, mess hall that I do want to hit up as well. Uh, give me that other trash bag. This one. Let's equip that. I want to hit up the that area to see if there's any more food for us. We haven't hit up these tents yet, so we might as well do that. Stay close-ish to our um, to our base of operation here. Do -do. Now I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is not really going to be needed at the moment. Um. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to take any weapon, like, um, guns or any ammo or anything like that. Because it's just going to weight us down too much and all we have is a trash bag. I'm not sure bags can actually spawn in there. To be honest, I've not seen them spawn. I've gotten bags, uh, military backpacks and large backpacks, uh, off the enemies down here mm -hmm. but not in these crates I will take these hunting knives because you know it is a weapon hey I stand corrected <laughs> I will take the big hiking bag so they must just be rare then all right um, let's go plop you in there Where's the metal pipe? All right, metal pipe is fine. Wait. Quit back. Odd. Right, where is my garbage bag? Let's plop you in there. That should be good. Looks like it has stopped raining, so that is very nice to see. Allows us to explore this area a little bit more. All right, well, now I am very much, let's wear that, um, very much looking at all these things. <laughs> First bag I've ever encountered within this area here uh yeah denim shirt we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that and take the camo stuff because of the um, low insulation well there we go we've got tons and tons of bags now i'm still looking still looking for those military bags let's grab that Uh, I will take a, a spare helmet. Alright, I do hear the zombie somewhere. Oh. Hello. Hmm. Wasn't quick enough. Right. Come on, go down. Right. And the rain is starting yet again. Alright, yeah, now I feel like I have to check all of these. <laughs> uh, another camo shirt. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we do already have a gas mask, so 
That's fine. Uh, double holster. We can wear that, though we don't have any guns right now. Uh, yeah, nope. There's a weapon. There's a gun. Um, we'll attach it to our holster. Uh, I don't know if we're going to actually want to bring it. Depends on what we're looking to weight wise. Keep down and so on and so forth. All right, let's go in here and let's just, while I'm thinking of it, mark off these houses. Or these tents, I should say. Mm -hmm. Let's head across here, because I don't think we did this tent, but I could be wrong. Oh, hello. Oh, and now you're, you're bringing me a backpack. And it's a military backpack as well. Nice. All right. Fantastic. Just what I wanted. All right. We're going to transfer all of this over there. So the military backpacks are the highest weight reduction at an 87 with a capacity of 28. Meanwhile, our uh, big hiking bag is at an 80. So, you know, an extra 7%. Much better. The large backpacks, I think, are like 85. Which is uh, nothing to sneeze at either. All right, let's plop you in there. Let's go in there. We'll throw the nails in there. Big hiking bag in there. I'm going to get rid of the safety goggles because we no longer need those. And you don't have anything else I want, correct? No. All right. Well, one goal has been uh, achieved here. Uh, oh, wait. Let's run back over here real quick. I'm just going to mark this at... Well, I guess I should probably... To be thorough, let's run down and make sure all this is um, okay. We're going to be in the summertime uh, for a while, so I kind of want to take more or less all of the, um, or spare desert camo. We have a full set right now of desert uh, camo stuff, but if I see an extra pair of something or other, we will take it. All right, that is now done. So let's go ahead and mark that as completed. All right, so... I feel, well, we do want to go across here, but I'm not going to check every single tent over here. Um, just not really needed. And these, I don't believe, have anything in them. So I think we're just, we may hit those up just in case, but I'm pretty sure they are empties. Uh, oh, we need, we need to have a smoke. All right, come on. Down you go. The next big thing I'd really like to find here is um is a car. If we can find a working car, it doesn't even have to be the greatest of shape, but just something that we can get into the in, uh, interior of Louisville would make me so very happy. All right, these I don't believe have anything. Come over here. Yeah, some ammo. Um, let's take the shotgun shells. Uh, I'll take, plop that down, see what's inside there. Antibiotics, alcohol wipes, take all this. Weather continues, especially showers and indoor rain, thunderstorm. Well, this one has it, so you know what? Let's, um... We're going to take this one with us. 
since it has the preset. <laughs> Uh, I will take another military bulletproof vest. Thank you very much. Uh, ham radio. And yeah, these do not have anything. Unfortunately. I think we checked this over here, didn't we? Yes. All right. Let's head up this tent. This is the mess hall, if I remember correctly. So we're going to want food for sure. All right, pick you up. Nice thunder. All right. Some bologna, some pepper. Some fresh potatoes. I'll take that sack. We'll pour the bleach out. Pour on ground. I'm going to leave that here. And uh, take a drink and fill our bleach bottle. At right, 1.6. Mustard. There we go. Some good and fresh food. Lovely. All right. Give me this. In fact, we're going to take all this with us. Because we're at least going to spend one more day in this area. Um... Let's take this. And so we're going to need the, the food here. I was hoping for more canned stuff, but beggars can't be choosers. All right. I think everything else, I'll take the meat cleaver. Just in case we need the weapon. All right. Good stuff. Let's pop out of here. I want to get uh, take a look at these crates over here. In the off chance that we can get maybe an axe. More value tech radios. Some rope. Baklava. That would be good in the winter, but not so much right now. Some aviator glasses. Actually, might take those. Mm -hmm. All right, shotgun shells. Let's take you. Uh, medical kit. There we go. We'll take all of this. Oh, we are out of space already. Um, give me, give me one of our uh, big hiking bags. Whip secondary. Alright, this all we'll get put into there. Over there. And shotgun shells. Thank you. Alright. Um So we don't want to stay out too long in the rain because we will increase our chance of getting sick. So I feel like we should probably start heading back. There's one more tent down here that I kind of want to hit up. 
um, the medical tent, and then we can probably make our way back to the base. And then, um, yeah, I would like to check for a car up a little bit more north, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that this episode. Let's walk to here. All these zombies. All right, let's just see what we got in here. All right, nice beta blockers. I will put that in my main inventory. Take those. In fact, we're just going to take all of this. Come on. Uh, all the painkillers, beta blockers, wipes, sure. Okay, uh, yeah, take the sleeping tablets. All right, that is, that's it. Let's head back to uh, our temporary base, I suppose. And we're not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with these because we don't really have the, um, the space for it. And pretty much we'll probably just find more clothing. And since we don't have a car just yet, I'm not too concerned about it. Alright. Alright, I wanted to check these. Yeah, nothing. Alright, let's head back into our little trailer. Do a once through here. Looks pretty good. Uh, is there a refrigerator here? Yes. Very small refrigerator, but a refrigerator nonetheless. So let me grab all of these and plop it into there. Great salad, uh, random vegetable, some carrots. Let's make random meat. And I, <laughs> we didn't make the noon uh, show, unfortunately, but you know, that's what happens. And then a random condiment here. And we shall eat all of that. Good stuff. All right, let's drop some of this stuff off in here. All right, so if we take a look at the map here, um, I think there's a gate just up here. I don't think it's right here. Let me, let me pop my head out. Just make sure. Oh, hello. Someone here? I thought I saw... Thought I saw a zombie somewhere skulking about. Uh, nope. Does not look like it. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. Guess we're just going to hang out in here um, and let this storm pass. What we might do. What I'll probably do is just let time go by and we'll be back here just for a few minutes because I do want to check out a little bit up north before we cut this video and uh, move on to the next one. So be right back. And we're back. All right. So I progressed through to the next morning. Didn't really do much. I did catch the woodworking show um, later on around 1600. So that was luck. Um and uh, yeah, it's a little foggy out, but that that's not bad. We'll go around and just quickly see if we can find a car nearby. Uh, yeah, go ahead and add some spice to that. And let's eat all of our potato and ham salad. Uh, go ahead and switch that. Uh, it is foggy, but hopefully the, the rain has, has ended for now. 
Mm-hmm. All right. We'll put a pin there. Uh, all right, so let's quickly go up north. We're not going to spend that much more time in this episode, but I do want to check the northern area here before we call it quits. Da, 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 da. Yeah, unfortunately, this gate isn't down yet. Which is okay. Because maybe we can get this zombie to start whacking on it. Oh, our metal pipe has leveled up. So we'll check that in a minute. All right, go down. Uh, what are you, metal pipe? Rule. Sounds good. All right. Um, not sure where that zomboid went, so that's a shame. Hello. Are you open? No. Hmm. All right, not much is up in here. I'd like to, I don't know if we can knock this down with our pipe or not. I was really hoping the zombie would have been there. I don't know where they went. Hmm. Not entirely sure if this is going to get us in. Condition is not being. Hmm. We don't really have anything else <laughs> to do. I was hoping. I mean, I guess I could yell. Maybe get them to come down here. Yeah, we're getting exhausted now. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and smoke a cigarette real quick. And yeah, I think that might, we may have to entice some zombies to come down here in some way, shape, or form. Because I'm not sure we're doing any damage to structures with this weapon. I think you do, you just don't do very much. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video. Once we get this gate down in some way, shape, or form, um, we will be able to get into Louisville proper, and I'm hoping that up in there we have some vehicles. Like, there's some vehicles over there. Hopefully there's some keys, and we do see some zombies over here. So what I'll probably do is next episode we'll walk up here, and just get these zombie att zombies attention and then try and get them to come down and break down this this gate so we'll see how things go but anyway thanks everyone for watching hope you're enjoying this series if you are let me know by hitting that like button if you want to see more content as always i strongly encourage you to subscribe to the channel otherwise we'll see you next time folks Bye bye